Hey guys, welcome and welcome back. So this DIY will be about me turning a $7 dress into a poppin' ass jumper. So let's get started. And guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So I laid the jumper flat on the floor and I am cutting it in half because we definitely need the extra fabric. And guys, this dress is a 3X. You need like at least 3x and up depending on your body size to make this jumper because we need lots and lots of fabric and it's also stretchy as well so keep that in mind guys if you want to make this jumper you need a lot of fabric so now we just doing the top part of the jumper and i just got a, a random dress and fold it up upwards because we just needed the upper part and you could use a t-shirt and that would be fine as well guys you guys could see i am adding extra seam allowance like an inch and a half extra seam allowance just because the fabric is stretchy please add extra seam allowance because that is so important guys and guys when i was cutting this out like i was taking my time because i do not want a crooked ass jumpsuit guys so okay this jumpsuit got look like it came straight out from the store and not from the house off cut because this needs to be perfect <laughs> and once that's done we're just going to toss that piece to the side and then we're going to move on to the trousers now i'm using the other side of the dress to make my trousers and this is why i say it's so important to have uh, a 3x dress so the front piece of the dress i just fold that in half and then i'm going to use a trouser for my closet you can also use pants guys and i'm going to cut that out <laughs> I realize that I say guys a lot, guys. Like, I don't know. I can't help myself. I'm going to try not to say guys so much, okay? And I'm just here cutting out the trousers and adding extra seam allowance, guys. That is just so important. So, yeah. And with that same trouser we just cut out, we're going to fold the dress in half again and use that cut out to cut out the other side of our trousers. And this time we will not be adding extra seam allowance. We're gonna cut the exact same shape. So I'm gonna just stay quiet for a little bit so y'all can watch me cut out the pants. So once it's cut out, it will look like these two. And then what we're going to do is from the crotch area, excuse me, guys, from the crouch area down below to the ankles, we're going to pin that up and we're going to sew that section. It will look like this once you pin it up and now it's ready to be sewed. So don't forget to backstitch guys because you do not want the pants to unravel and I am using a straight stitch. Now once we're done this is how the pieces will look and now we're going to sew the two together and what I did was one of the pieces is facing the wrong side and I turned one of the other pieces inside out and then I'm going to turn I'm going to put the, the pieces that is inside out inside the trousers that's on the wrong side i hope i'm explaining right guys you could just clearly see it in a video and then i'm gonna connect them together i'm pinning the crouches together and then i'm moving upward and pinning the rest together as well and make sure you take your time guys because this is the trouser part and you do not want anything revealing or nothing like that because that's embarrassing <laughs> And so in that section, I'm just using a straight stitch again and just taking my time because like I said, you do not want anything revealing. Now after that, it will look like this. Ow. So we halfway done. So now we're moving on to the shirt and I wanted the shirt to be more defined. So I am cutting the um part just a little inwards. And also I am doing a U neckline. Neckline, I am just, you know, cutting it real slow because I do not want it to mess up because we're gonna end up folding that shirt in half and we're gonna cut out the exact same shape so it could be duplicate. 
to all my newest sewers this is like a great way for you to make sure your outfit look like they're twins like side to side so yes girls a good tip And voila, this is how the shirt will look. And you see, it looks good. So now we are about to attach the shirt to the trousers. And all I did was flip the shirt under so we could start pinning and attaching to the trousers. And we're going to sew it. And this part is very crucial. Like, I'm pinning it. I'm taking my time pinning it because this is the front part of the trousers. And you do not want it to screw up. Did I say trousers? Sorry, guys. I mean, this is the front part of the jumper. And this is how it will look once you pin it all together. Now it's ready to be sewn. So I'm back stitching and now I'm sewing with a straight line. If you're learning or enjoying watching this, please guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Every week I am doing a new DIY, a thrift flip, or a new crochet tutorial. Now that's like my new thing now is teaching crochet outfits and I really enjoy it. So hopefully you guys could enjoy it as well. So now we're going to start binding the sides of the top and what I did was just get extra fabric and I measure it from the shoulders on to the end of the top and then I cut a long rectangle and then I'm going to pin that up. And how I'm attaching them is the pieces that we just cut out is facing upwards. So the clothing is facing, the jumper is facing upward, and the piece is also facing upwards. And the piece is like right behind the clothing. So that is real important because once we fold it, like the fabric will show and blend with the jumper. So it's very important to face that piece upwards face in front so i already started folding it and pinning it and basically what i did was fold the top piece and then move the bottom piece upward and then the folded top piece we're going to cover that piece and then we're going to pin it and that's really basically it guys just fold the top piece move the bottom piece uppers and then cover that part with the top piece and that's basically it for the front piece the u neckline that's what i'm buying there right now Afterwards, we're going to sew the open part of the binding and make sure you use a straight line because this is the front piece of your jumper and it got to look professional. So we're using a straight stitch and we're just sewing the part that is open. Now I'm going to demonstrate again. So we are going to do the side of the jumper and I already cut long rectangular from the shoulders to the bottom of the shirt. And like I said, I pinned the piece upwards frontwards. So the shirt is frontwards and the piece is frontwards. Like it has to be like that because it will get messed up and then we're going to sew. And you see why it's important to pin it that way? Because once you fold it, you see the pattern and the pattern matches with the shirt. <laughs> Now with the side of the jumper, I just fold twice and then fold. So fold twice and then fold. I have to slow it down for ya. <laughs> so I fold once, fold twice, then fold again and pin it. And that's how I did it. Um, And I'm just sewing the open spot of the binding. So the open spot is that's where we're going to be sewing at. And as you guys could see, like I'm using my finger to guide it because I do want it to be still in place even after I take out the pen. So that's just like my little thing. 
and voila so this is how it will look guys so the more you do it the more it will get better practice make perfect so here is the straps and i just cut a long rectangle <laughs> of course and then i'm gonna sew it outward so the out part we're gonna sew that And I'm just going to use a safety pin just to turn the strap inside out. And all I did was just connect the safety pin to the tip of the strap and then move the safety pin inside the straps and then pulling it at the end. So I'm just pushing it and then pulling it, pushing it and then pulling it at the end. And then bam, you got your strap. So I wanted to do a bell bottom for this jumper. So what I did was just get the end piece of the jumper and get another piece of the fabric from the dress. And I just wanted to make sure the bottom piece matches with the bell bottom. And then I'm going to cut outwards. So it's going to be like a, a U kind of. So I realized that the other side of the fabric was already cut the same shape that I wanted to cut out. So I just flip it over and cut that shape. And then afterwards, I just fold that in half and then cut the remaining piece. I just wanted to be twins and duplicate and just make it look alike. And then you're gonna sew the sides. And after you finish sewing the sides, I just turn it inside out and they shove it into one of the jumper's legs and pin it together. So like the side seams, I connect it back to the jumper side seams and then I just pin it all around and then we're gonna sew that section. So this is where I was running out of fabric guys and the piece that we already cut out, the bow bottom, I just used that to help me guide the piece that you see right now and i found more fabric to just cut out the same piece that's on top of that fabric and that's how i was able to create the bow bottom on the other side of the jumpers and i'm just here sewing on the bow bottom onto the jumpers and you know nothing special so we're going to use elastic band for the back of the jumpers and I just measure it on my back side how tight I want it and we're going to sew it on to the back piece of the jumpers and as you guys can see like I'm pulling the elastic band just a little bit so it could give me that little crunchy look like the little rutch tight look I don't know if I'm saying it right so I'm just you know pulling it afterwards we're gonna fold that in half and then sew the bottom piece just to cover the elastic band and this is what i was talking about hey so we're almost done y'all and i'm gonna sew two more straps to the sides and that's about it so hey here goes our jumper so i hope you guys enjoy watching this please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also don't forget to click on the bell button so you won't miss each week of new diys ciao